Hello, this is Seven for Geekcaster, and I'm here with Femi Taylor. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I am excellent. Good. So happy to be with you today. Yeah, okay, happy to be here. You are a home. part of film history. Yeah. <laughs> cultural history. How's it feel to be iconic? <laughs> it feels really honorable to be iconic. I mean, I don't realize how iconic my part or my character mm. is until fans say, Femi, your part's really iconic. I go, oh, yeah, it is. Well, I mean, it was huge just because you are in Return of the Jedi. Yeah. And to see a woman of color. Yes, yes. And, and have a woman of color yeah, feature. Uh, absolutely, features yes. in, in a film like that. Exactly. Even though they did paint you green. Uh, well, they painted me green, so that was like, a, they finally got a woman of color. Right. But, you know, George Lucas wanted, um, specifically wanted a, a, a woman of color, so the features came through the green. Right. But I didn't realize I was going to be painted green. But, hey, that's yeah. fine. And you didn't even know you were up for Star Wars. You didn't no, know you were No, I had no idea. It was, um... My agent called me and said, "There's, you know, they're doing this film, and they're looking for a girl who can dance." Right. Um, and that's the brief I got. And you're a and trained the, dancer. I'm a trained dancer, darling. <laughs> I'm a trained dancer. Four years old, I knew I, that was my mission, my wow. passion in life. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. And you also not only filmed with Star Wars back then, but what? Mm -hmm. 14 years later. 14 it's years later, out of the blue. <laughs> I got a phone call from the casting director, Robin Curlin, saying that they're, you know, George was trying to find me and um, they wanted to not reshoot, they wanted to add more footage to my scene. And this is one of the yeah, yeah, yeah. new yeah. footage right there. Yep, yep, yep. That's crazy. Yeah, that's when you, they, they actually, that wasn't, that was, wasn't part of the schedule. Okay. And Rick McCullum actually said to George, listen, I think we should keep Femi. Right. I think we should see her come down into the pit and face the rancor, but that wasn't part of it. So I stayed next to four days. Amazing. Um, I, they had to drive me out of um, Skywalker, Skywalker Ranch where I was staying. Oh my um, goodness. I stayed there because it took me four, you know, three days to build a set. And then um, I, I came and shot it. And well, it was really great because it was the sort of finality to the character. Yeah. How was that staying at the ranch? Oh, staying at the ranch was wonderful. She gets a beautiful place went for long walks and there's not much to do there because you know it is a film place but it was just oh god look I'm not, I'm not even going to complain it was just lovely to stay at the ranch. So how can people check you out on for future uh, cons and yeah, yeah. signings I'm on and stuff? social media I'm only on Instagram Femi Taylor and I'm on Facebook Femi Taylor so please you know it's my I'm no Donna Con in, in New York, so I'm just really glad to be here. And this has been a oh, well. Thank you fan. for doing your first con in New thank York you at Winter so Con. Much. It's just been a pleasure. And it's been a pleasure meeting you. Thank You're so you. gracious, thank and thank you. you for taking time to oh, talk my. to us. Thank you. Awesome. Lots of love. Bye. Bye bye.